Hi, and welcome to the Indusoft Web Studio version 7.0 quick start video. Okay, so let's get started. Today we're going to create a new project with a couple of screens, a slider, a button, and a lamp, and some navigation. But before I get started, I wanted to point out that when you first install Indusoft Web Studio version 7, you get this nice demo that shows you some of the features that you can include in your application. And feel free to uh, take a look at these, tear them apart, and use these uh, objects and the way we've configured them uh, to learn and em employ them in your application uh, as well. So here's a, a food processing screen, here's a water type screen, here's a wind, uh, power, and alternative energy type screen. Um, but for the sake of the, this application, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a brand new project. And I'm going to call that project uh, Quick Start. And in Indusoft Web Studio version 7, the target platform can be either Windows, meaning a desktop or server. So that could be on Windows um, XP, uh, Vista, Windows 7, or it could be on a server edition, including Server 2003 or even uh, Server 2008 R2. For the sake, uh, for uh, also we can choose Windows Embedded. Now that would allow us to run on embedded operating systems such as Embedded XP or Embedded Standard um, and even Windows CE or Mobile. For the sake of this demo I'm going to choose Windows and I'm going to choose Local Interface. Now that will give us 1500 tags. That should be way more than enough for this demo. I'm going to click on OK and the resolution I'm going to choose 1024 by 768 for this demo but I could just choose custom and uh, or select one of these from this list. Now that's one way that Indusoft uh, gives you the flexibility to future proof your application. So you can choose a default resolution it uh, has the option to auto scale to whatever size equipment that you deploy it to so you're not locked in or you can choose custom and dedicate it to one that we don't even have listed here. So again, I'm going to choose 1024 by 768. Now I'm going to create a new screen by using this Project Explorer and clicking on Insert, right-clicking on Screens, clicking Insert. Here we have the ability to change the way that our screen looks, maybe a background picture, where it's located, whether or not there's screen scripting built in. But for the sake of this demo, I'm just going to choose the defaults. Now I have this screen, and I'm going to choose a new background color for this screen, and I'm going to choose... Um, a fill effect. I'm going to give it a gradient. But I wanted to point out here, new in version 7, is we allow you to have custom colors and you can choose colors uh, for your own palette, maybe your, your corporate color schemes or your customer has a particular color scheme that they want to use. And you can export and import those and keep those uh, specific colors for your particular project. But for this project, I'm just going to choose some colors here that uh, give us a nice looking background. I'm going to then add a slider to this screen from our symbol library. And we're going to choose a slider that happens to have not only the slider, but the value displayed on it. So it's going to give us a, a digital readout as well as a slider. Now I'm going to double click on that and then look at the properties here. And I'm going to type this in as tag temp1. Now I'm going to create this tag on the fly. I don't have to do this. I can go to the tags database and maybe import them from Excel or copy and paste them from Excel. But in this case, I'm just going to create one on the fly. And it's going to prompt us and say, hey, you don't have this tag. Uh, do you want to create it? And we say yes. It gives us the ability to create a Boolean, integer, real, or string type tag. For this temperature, I'm just going to choose integer. I'm going to say OK. I'm going to go back to the graphics tab and now I'm going to put a text box on or a text display and here I'm going to call this temperature and this piece of text by itself will not read that temperature but I'm going to double click on it and I'm going to choose this text data link now when I choose this text data link it's going to present me with the ability to tie this tag name to it and I've clicked on the little browse button here and that's uh, giving me this object finder, so now I don't have to mistype it or, or try to remember what that was. I can just choose it from a list, and I'll say OK. And so what that has done is taken this text and put these pound signs after it. And in Indusoft Web Studio, the pound signs are a little special, and they'll take that tag value that's in this text data link animation and display in place of those pound signs during runtime. So I have this piece of text. I have it tied to this uh, tag name called temp1. And essentially what I just did is built into that is the same thing as going to graphics after I've typed uh, temperature here and applying this text animation, this text data link animation. 
Let's quickly put a bar graph here below this, and I'll put a rectangle. And on this rectangle, I'm going to apply a bar graph animation. So what I've just done is taken this, this rectangle, applied a bar graph animation, and I'm going to again choose this temp1 tag. Click on OK. And because that slider goes from minimum 0 to maximum 100, I know it's, this is going to be in the right range. And now I'm going to save this screen. So I'm going to save this screen as main. And now that I have that screen main, I'm going to create a new screen. I'm going to insert, and I'm going to choose my defaults here again. And on this screen, I'm going to place a button. And on this button, I'm going to change the text to uh, toggle uh, V1. Now, again, that's just text, and I haven't created V1 yet. Um, but I'm going to choose a, t a command animation. And the command animation, I can choose VB script uh, if I wanted to, and I can have something, a script here on down, uh, on while, on up, and all these other variations. I can also choose the built in scripting language in the Indusoft Web Studio. Uh, I can choose to open a screen, set a tag, reset a tag, close a screen, toggle a tag. So I'm going to choose toggle a tag. And again, I haven't chose um, set up V1 yet, so let's set up V1. And because I want that to be just a bit, I'm going to choose a Boolean for this type of tag. And now that I have that, um, that will toggle. Now let's add something that we can toggle, maybe make it look like a, a lamp or a light. So I'm going to put a circle here on the screen and apply a color animation. Now that circle, um, when I choose the tag V1, will have uh, the value of 0 or 1 because it's Boolean, and when it's off, it will show red. When it's on, it will show green. Now notice, <coughs> excuse me, notice that I don't have to uh, close this properties box. I can just select the different objects on the screen. Now that way we don't have to dive into an object and then cancel or OK back out. That's one way that, that Indusoft Web Studio makes you more efficient in creating your applications. Before I leave this screen, I'm going to give us a way to navigate back to the main screen. So I'm going to choose graphics here. I'm going to put a button on the screen and put this up in the upper corner and I will change this to main screen and I'm going to apply a command dynamic to this and I will change this from uh, here to open screen and because I saved the main screen earlier I can just choose it from a list and I don't have to type it or remember it and this prevents me from making mistakes and, and mistyping it and now I will save and close this screen and I will just call this screen number two. And I'll go back to my main screen and add a button in a similar fashion to get back to or get to my screen number two. I will add the text here to screen two. And add a command. Make this an open screen. And again, I'll choose from the list screen two. And at this point, I can go ahead and run my application, but before I run my application, I'm going to run it here locally for you to, to see this demonstration locally. I can choose to connect to a remote computer over Ethernet, download my application and start and stop that application and manage it remotely if I so choose. So that could be over an Ethernet connection, a dial-up phone line, a radio modem, uh, or even over a satellite connection. At this point, though, I'm just going to save my screen here and run my application locally so you can see it. And once I start up this screen, um, actually I have to right click here and set as startup. Um, now I can run this application and you'll actually see this, this uh, uh, screen. Now I have the main screen. You can see my bar graph running here and I can click on open screen 2. I can toggle the tag that will show you that lamp changing colors. Now that could be uh, tied to an external PLC or another device and, and displaying from um, a PLC I.O. point, let's say. But uh, that's how easy it is to create a couple screen application in Indusoft Web Studio. And we thank you for your time. For more information regarding Indusoft Web Studio version 7, you can visit our website as shown here at www.indusoft.com or other websites at indusoft.com.br, indusoft-germany.de, or you can send us emails at info at indusoft.com.br or indusoft-germany.de or give us a call directly at any of the numbers listed here on the screen. 
thank you for listening and I uh, hope you have a nice day.